<laughs> Hi, it's Sunday morning. It's time for the Sunday morning rant. It's July, the fourth weekend. What do you think, folks? Hmm? Now, this is a gift from you know who. Now, this is the lightest part of the program. From now on, it gets real serious. All right, and I'm dressed in a 4th of July costume, and I'm going to talk about a guy who loved costumes, and people loved him for his shows, his showmanship, Michael Jackson. But the reason I'm going to talk about him is because when I was a child, I was molested, and the molesting was not painful physically. It was just mentally very, very upsetting, but he didn't go far enough to actually hurt me as many, many uh, victims have been hurt. How old were you? I was five. How old was he? In his 40s. So it was psychologically, ooh, it was rough, but uh, what I'm what I want to talk about it for is at the time that it happened I did not tell and the reason I didn't is because I felt that me being five years old and well my father had already seen him threaten to kill a man who had wrestled his cattle so I thought he's sure he'll just take his gun out and shoot him but there was a complication I felt that he and this man had been having what I finally deduced in my uh, five-year-old body was a homosexual. It was, I guess I'd heard of it, but I had to try to figure out what it was from their behavior, from how they were acting, things they said that I had witnessed over to this man's house where my dad would take us. And then he would go in the cabin with this guy. And after him doing this a number of times, I thought, well, they're doing something in there. They had no be doing it. I know. So, anyway, that was the complication that was going to, I thought, make my dad even more murderous because, and so it was just blowing, it was just so difficult for me to uh, figure out how I could possibly tell this because I didn't want murder. I thought that was going too far with this guy. He had not done enough yet to just be killed in cold blood, especially when my dad had brought him into our family, close, uh, took the risk of intimacy, an affair that caused him to get jealous and angry, which is why I thought he targeted me. It was revenge that caused him to do it, and which would probably wouldn't have been there if my dad hadn't caused it. So I felt my dad had a part in this, and for him to murder the guy, I couldn't even live with that thought. As to say nothing of the fact that, you know, our family would be dealing with the murder uh, of this man. I mean, a lot of people might think he didn't, didn't deserve to live, but uh, I didn't think that murder was going to help anything. So I just kept quiet. I don't know him, but I don't care too much for him. <laughs> well. He wasn't very, but when I think about Michael Jackson, uh, Michael Jackson, to this, to the day he made his will, cut his father out, claimed and told reporters from journalists that interviewed him that he, his father had been very abusive physically. Now he didn't talk about the sexual abuse, and I don't think they questioned him whether there was any, but he beat them and Michael Jackson said so severely and he had such a reaction to it that he fainted. Uh, he, uh, he was threw up, you know, he, and, and I had heard, heard of another where his father would rehearse him with a whip in his hand, you know. So there was a lot of cruelty going on here. And then later on when uh, Michael Jackson seemed focused on children and there was a question of him crossing the line, which I think he did. I saw him myself in his performances, I thought, on the Super Bowl. Cross the line. He had all these children up there on the stage dancing, and he kept he kept going to his crotch over and over and over again. I thought that was inappropriate. It was inappropriate to be doing that when he was singing with children. 
as they would be seeing this and get what kind of message, you know. But it seemed like that nobody could stop him from doing this and he didn't have the restraint to stop himself. So even Oprah Winfrey, I saw later on, asked him, why did he do that? And he was embarrassed, you know, he didn't want to answer her. He just sort of threw it off. But uh, that gesture did not disappear from his performances until after he was accused of child molestation. Then he seemed to recognize that that didn't look too good. But up until then, he, and I think there's a lot of people who mimicked him. They were doing it themselves, and he may have gotten it from other people. But he crossed the line just in that instant. And he would deny, say there was nothing sexual, it was all just beautiful, charming, what he did with these children when they stayed over. And, and uh, he, and so you just, you wonder, you know, if he was into denial about anything that he did, that a, of a sexual connotation, if, if what he said could be trusted, the journalists, I thought, were very brave. They went ahead and they they had questioned him, and he put him on the spot. But my experience with pedophiles, and that wasn't the first one. There was another one, and then I encountered him uh, briefly, you know, several several times that didn't How nothing old happen. Oh, just through my childhood, you know, there would be like my uncle. My mother said give your uncle a kiss. Well, I, I was eight, and I went to kiss him, and he stuck his tongue clear down my throat. <laughs> oh boy, I jumped like a rattlesnake and bit me, and I thought, don't trust that guy, even if he is my uncle. Well, this happens a lot, you know, people who are uh, relatives can... So, I'm just saying that I think Michael Jackson, having... the the abuse that he'd suffered was very paramount in his mind, and I think he felt that he was muck. He was charming, he didn't hurt people. To him, any kind of a sexual connotation, it was almost like he wouldn't recognize because he didn't really hurt the kids, you know, physically. But it was still crossing the line. And uh, I think, and I think that this is what people have so much trouble trying to deal with this kind of behavior. They have trouble dealing with it in their families. I mean, look at my family. They had a terrible time dealing with this. Uh, and I think that what we need to do is we have to study Michael Jackson, try to find out everything we can about him. Because there he was, such an icon, so, so popular. Uh, but what was his psychology? What the other brothers need to talk about the abuse if there was sexual abuse, they need to admit it. They need to be honest about what really happened that helped Michael Jackson cross the line, that not be able to stop himself, not be able to recognize that he was being abusive in a psychological way to these. Any, he was abusive, I thought, in that performance by giving these kids confused confusion in their minds about what what this was, you know, this crotch touching. So that's what I think we should do is study Michael Jackson. Happy Fourth of July, folks. <laughs>